a former slave, an immigrant, a hairdresser. But venerable Pierre Toussaint considered himself first and foremost a Catholic. Pierre Toussaint said none of those labels matter. What matters is that every person is created in the image and likeness of God. June 30th marks 168 years since Toussaint's death. But the impact he made on New York City and church history is still relevant in his journey to sainthood. An example of, of what uh, an immigrant can do to really build up the kingdom of God. Pierre Toussaint was born into slavery in Haiti and later was taken to New York City by his owners in 1787. While still enslaved, he began working, earning money as a hairdresser. All the society women would seek out his services. In those days, French women used to have extravagant uh, hairdo and very rapidly he obtained a large clientele. With his money, Toussaint opened orphanages, schools and employment offices. And instead of buying his own freedom, he purchased it for others. He got their freedom for many, many, many other uh, men and women. He was worried about uh, his family, worried about others. Toussaint was the main financial contributor in building the Basilica of St. Patrick's Old Cathedral in Lower Manhattan. He was buried there until 1991 when he was transferred to the new St. Patrick's, the only layperson ever buried beneath the main altar. He was made venerable by St. John Paul II in 1997. If canonized, Toussaint will become the first Haitian saint. We encourage everybody to ask God uh, miracles in honor of Pierre Toussaint. For Catholics living in New York City, Pierre Toussaint brings the worlds of faith and history together. In Manhattan, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.